Meat Boy is definitely not back because today we are making vegan banana bread. And if any of you guys think this is some elaborate scheme to charm Hitomi, you're absolutely wrong. Guys, there's plenty of Asian boys in New York, twice as pretty as Hitomi, and I don't even know where she is. Like, I'm, I'm going to venture to some far away lost jungle. I might as well try to find Atlantis. And the reason I've been eating uh, this vegan banana bread is, I mean, it just happens to be vegan. Like, like, it happens to be. Like, I could throw honey in here and kind of be big, but bananas are very high in anti-nutrients. And the reason, I like this is, the reason bananas are such a great food is because the starch to sugar ratio is, is nice. It has a balanced amount of glucose and fructose. The starch feeds your gut bacteria. However, bananas, especially when raw, are very high in anti-nutrients. And we know how much the vegan boys love raw bananaing. Bananaing. Uh, so if you you know, dilute the bananas with these other ingredients. If you cook them, no digestive issues whatsoever. I was getting a ton of acne drinking like the, the raw banana smoothies. And, oh man, I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. But, but having this banana bread for the past few weeks, I have not had any issues. Skin has been perfectly clear. So let me show you guys those ingredients. Now everything here is organic and the USDA organic certification makes it so they can't use certain chemicals on the food. Of course, it's not perfect and there's a very extensive list of what they still can use, but there's a much lower amount of herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, all those pesticides that they spray in the food supply. And now the main ingredient is bananas and you want very, very ripe bananas as the flavor of the banana is going to be reflected in the end result. If you use bananas that aren't really that good, then yeah, the banana bread will still be okay. It's just, you're gonna get that like unripe banana flavor, which is not too pleasant. And the measurements we're using today are for quite a bit of banana bread. So by all means, you can cut this in half if you're just cooking for yourself. Uh, first, I'm just gonna take our one cup of coconut oil and I'm gonna put it on the stove to melt. Our other coconut component is coconut milk and this Technically isn't in the recipe, but if we blend this up with the bananas in the Ninja blender, it's going to be a lot easier to just mix this. We have three cups of sugar, four cups of flour. You can go a little lighter on the sugar, uh, some vanilla for some added flavor. And of course we have salt. So we got four pretty ripe bananas in the blender. I'm going to add maybe half a cup of coconut milk just to make it easier to blend into a smooth puree. To that, I'm going to add the one cup of melted coconut oil, two teaspoons of salt, courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Meat, a bit of vanilla powder, and some vanilla extract. One or the other is fine, you don't need both. So that's really it. If you want, uh, Whole Foods had this organic sweetened condensed coconut milk, which I kind of like uh, to add to this. Just a bit more flavor, some like caramelized. You know, th this stuff is uh, pretty tasty on its own too. I sometimes even eat it out of the can. But again, it's in a can, so not perfect. So 10 seconds, you're gonna have a really, really smooth puree. If you still want the chunks of banana in the bread, maybe just blitz it a couple times, or you could even mix it by hand. This is just a lot quicker and easier. We'll pour the banana puree. Three cups of sugar, four cups of flour. I'm just gonna mix this together by hand. So this is just a baking dish that I greased with coconut oil. You probably don't have to grease it, but if you wanna actually take the banana bread out and like present it, you might wanna do that. All right, so oven on 350, and this is gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes. Now, you want it to be nice and brown and crispy kind of on top and on the sides because it's gonna be a lot more flavorful, like those are the best parts. So uh, we'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and our banana bread is looking perfect, lovely. You know, honestly could go a little longer if you want to really caramelize the top, but this is good. We don't want it to be too dry. So if you do have a glass container like this, you can tell very easily on the side when it starts to caramelize and brown, and that's you know when you can kind of take it out. So hopefully you guys try this out, you enjoy it. Great for your kids, your family. This would be really, really delicious with like some ice cream or cream. Even if it was coconut cream, you should just whip that up with some sugar. Awesome, awesome dish and I've mentioned it before, but you know, the reason I use coconut is because it's antifungal. It's a lot easier on digestion and uh, no problems at all with this whatsoever. Great for gaining weight. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you'd like to support me, you can go to frankdestefano.com to check out all of my businesses, see if there's anything you're interested in. Outside of that, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. 
subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frank-defano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.